Hi everyone, Caroline here. Do you use selenite to absorb toxic or negative energy from your environment? If you do, I'm going to share with you why using selenite to absorb negative energy may not be the best idea. And by the way, before I go on, let me know in the comment section below what you've been using selenite for and whether it has been working for you. You know, there are many people who use selenite to cleanse unwanted energy from their aura and also to absorb toxic energy from their environment. People use selenite to bring in more light into their bodies and into their spaces. And while this is great and it works, it is not the best way or the ideal way in which to use selenite. My perspective is that it is not the best way in which to use selenite especially when you're using selenite for long-term purposes or as a long-term strategy to absorb or remove toxic energy from your environment. This is my perspective and I'm going to share with you why I hold that belief and maybe this belief that I have can really help you in understanding why maybe after using selenite the energy in your home or in your space or in your aura still remains the same or is just something that you're not really liking at this particular moment okay so just bear with me and listen all right okay you know i learned this the hard way when one day i noticed that some of my selenite crystals were cracking i had a selenite rod that looks like this one that i used to place on my windowsill just to kind of keep away, you know, negative energy or to absorb negative energy before it enters into my bedroom, right? And then one day I noticed that that selenite rod had cracked in two. And I was so disappointed because I was like, hmm, what could have possibly happened? What could have possibly broken my crystal? Because no one comes around that area. So I kind of wondered what was the cause of my crystal cracking? I couldn't really figure out what broke that crystal. And then a couple of months ago, another selenite tower of mine that looked like this one cracked in half. This one here. It cracked in half. And then I began to wonder, what is the matter? Because, you know, a lot of people usually say that selenite is self-cleansing. But because I cleanse my crystals, I wasn't even thinking that the cracked selenites were because they had really absorbed a lot of unwanted toxic energy. It just didn't cross my mind, okay? But this is what I want to say today. Crystal lovers, selenite will crack if too much toxic energy builds up within it because it is a soft, sensitive stone, okay? It will crack. If you want a crystal to clear negative or toxic energy, especially over a long period of time. Don't use selenite. Instead, use a heavy duty crystal like black obsidian because that crystal is a powerhouse for absorbing toxic energy and it doesn't crack, okay? As a matter of fact, at this time, I'm looking for a genuine black obsidian crystal. It's so amazing how difficult it is to come across a genuine black obsidian crystal. So wish me luck. If I find one, I'm going to let you guys know where I found genuine black obsidian. Okay. All right. Oh, something really important. How can you tell whether your selenite crystal has absorbed a lot of toxic energy? One way to tell, obviously, is if your crystal cracks. The other way to tell is when you look at your selenite crystal, you will notice that it has lost its glossy, shiny, sheer luster. Okay? It looks dull. So when you have a crystal, like this one of mine, really, it looks really dull as compared to this one. When you have a selenite crystal that looks dull and has lost its sheen, then it's probably absorbed toxic energy and it's time for you to do something about it. So that's one or two ways that you can tell whether it's time to cleanse that crystal, okay? The other thing about selenite is that selenite is associated with the energy of the moon. And the moon is connected to water and the tides. And it's usually said that the moon represents our emotions. So in that sense, our emotions are symbolic of water energy. And the interesting thing is that it's also usually recommended by a lot of people not to cleanse selenite in water. 
And so the way I see this thing is how connected everything is. And it's just so interesting. Selenite, the moon energy, our emotions, water, and especially the recommendation that selenite should not be cleansed in water makes me conclude that selenite should not be used to absorb a lot of emotional energy because emotions are water-based. And when selenite absorbs a lot of water, it dissolves. And when something dissolves and erodes, it changes the character of the thing. So when our emotions and a lot of unwanted energies, which are basically water-based, are absorbed by selenite, it metaphysically speaking dissolves the character of selenite. It erodes the character of selenite. And that's why sometimes selenite cracks. And then also, that's why you may even notice that you have a lot of selenite in your home or in your space and you use selenite a lot, but still you kind of feel the effects of a lot of unwanted things happening. Or you might even notice that your selenite may not be working the way you think it really should be working. You're still not feeling the same. Okay. So selenite is not a stone that is to be used on the physical body or for physical things or for emotions or for mental things. It is an aura cleansing stone. It is a light cleansing stone that works as a defensive protective mechanism on your auric field. This is where it thrives the most. And when you notice that your selenite crystal has cracked, because it has been ignored for a long time and it has an over concentration of unwanted toxic energies then it's time for you to do something about it like cleanse the crystal in whatever way that appeals to you and make sure that you discharge the energy that is contained within that crystal because the internal pressure of that unwanted energy will cause your crystal to crack. And if it's your favorite crystal, like this one of mine here, it just fit perfectly in my hand when it was in a whole piece. But this is still okay though. But if there's a crystal that you love, you don't really want it to crack. So just make sure that you cleanse your selenite crystals. And again, if you're in a space where there's a lot of unwanted negative toxic energy, Think about the heavy duty crystals like black obsidian, as opposed to this gentle, sensitive, beautiful, soft, light crystal. Okay. So this is my perspective and I'm just sharing it out there. There are people who swear by selenite for everything, but you know what? Everything comes down to experience. You have to work with your crystals to understand what they really mean and to really see how they impact you personally. Okay, so this is my sharing. And I'd also like to know whether your crystals have cracked or how you are experiencing selenite. So don't forget to let me know in the comments section. Okay. Oh my God, there's so much to say about selenite, um, but I'm just going to keep this video to this specific topic. And in the coming days, I want to make a video about selenite and the combinations for selenite, which are really, really, really interesting in my perspective. So look out for that. But in the meantime, let me know if you have a cracked selenite or what you use your selenite for. And also I offer personal one-on-one -on -one consultations on how to work with your spiritual tools. So hit me up. And until next time, don't overuse your selenite. Use black obsidian for heavy duty and wanted toxic energy. And I love you guys. Bye.